Today in Tracy's basement. We're unboxing 100 Funko Pops. What? Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, today we are unboxing 100 Funko Pops. Oh, that's <laughs> a lot of pops. As you guys know, we've mentioned before, we've had kind of a backlog for a while. Uh. The pops are the worst part of that. They've just been piling up and piling up. And we kind of got bored with Funko Pop hauls for a while, so they kept piling up more and more. Yeah. And so more. let's face it, like everybody's constantly showing off the same thing with the Funko Pop hauls. And it, I mean, it's not like we're showing you anything new when we do a Funko Pop haul. I mean, most of you follow Funko anyway. You know everything that's coming out. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, we kind of got a little tired of doing them for a while, but uh, the backlog got a little nuts. So a little bit insane. Yeah, we decided. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to show off 100 of them today. We've actually been trying to kind of cut back on the Funko Pops. They're just, they're, I love Funko Pops, but there's just so many so fast. Funko yeah. is constantly putting out so many of too them. Too much, too fast. Um, and you know, a lot of them are just, they're kind of lazy, like like Star-Lord, the new Star-Lords. They're just lazy head swaps yeah. and, and stuff like that. Even the chase is just the head of one and the body of the other, <laughs> exactly. which we do actually have one of those, but we're not showing that today. But today we have a bunch of commons and some exclusives and some vaulted pops and a couple chases to show you guys in this massive haul. So uh, this is going to be, <laughs> like, settle in. This is going to be a bit of a marathon. This is not a sprint. Uh, so we're not going to focus on each individual pop for too long because then this video might be six hours long. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, settle in, go make a sandwich, uh, maybe get something to drink, you know, so you don't get too parched. Uh, you know, befriend that pause button if you need to. Uh, so let's get started, eh? Like, get started. Started. otherwise we're never going <laughs> to There's finish. a lot to go through. Yeah. So first, let's start with three Rick and Morty Pops. These are from the original Rick and Morty line, not the ones that are coming out now. We have Rick and Morty, of course, and we have Doofus, Doofus. Rick which is a GameStop exclusive. Yeah. First we have Morty holding the Mega Tree seeds that give you temporary intelligence. I love this pop because of his face. His awesome eyebrows and that mouth. Like every time he makes that face in the show, I die yeah. laughing. His this face, just that, that's funny when they make those uh, <laughs> lip faces. I'm so glad that they did that yeah. for the pop. And of course we have Rick who has the uh, little bit of uh, spitty drool uh, from drinking too much all over <laughs> so him. Gross. He's got his flask there, the big, huge unibrow, bald spot bald on spot. the back of his head. <laughs> That's really cool. He's got his trench coat on and everything. He's pretty He's pretty well done. He's got the baggy uh, old eyes. And then we've got Doofus Rick. Who is the exclusive, and he's awesome. I love that episode with yeah. Doofus Rick because he's he just the, funny. Uh, the alternate dimension and the only uh, Rick to befriend Jerry, because Jerry just sucks, uh, <laughs> is the Doofus Rick because they're kind of on the same level. You gotta love so, that haircut yeah. <laughs> and the and teeth. He's, he's biting, his, his <laughs> biting his bottom lip. You know, it's one of those Funko Pops that has a mouth, uh, which, which isn't too common. Well, you know what? It's, it's not happening it's more. not that uncommon now because yeah. there's only seven billion Funko Pops <laughs> out there. But uh, yeah, he's got that goofy haircut. That that's a pretty cool pop right there. Next we have Yakko, Wacko, and Dot from Animaniacs, one of my Animaniacs. favorite shows when I was a kid. That was yeah. such a fun show. Yeah. <laughs> so we have little sister Dot with her cute, adorable little pink skirt and the yellow flower in her hair. I love Dot so much. My favorite thing ever was the fingerprints joke. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's hysterical. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that was a very like adult themed joke. Very adult themed joke. Yeah. And Yakko in his sideways red hat with the little blue shirt and everything. I love how his ears kind of stick in yeah. sideways. And of course, he was known for all the belching. Yeah, lots and, and uh, lots of belching and the eating. <laughs> and lots Eat of the eating. truckload in the opening. He eats the truckload. He's he's pretty well done too. He's got the little fold around his neck there. A very classic Warner Brothers look to them as well. And we've got. Yakko with his uh, big loose pants on, <laughs> the little tail coming out on the back there. 
you know, they all look kind of similar because that's kind of the way the characters were designed. And but, they're siblings. Uh, and, yeah, and they're siblings, <laughs> yeah. But he's pretty well done with his belt buckle. He's holding up the finger, saying, like, one moment. Uh, Yakko, of course, uh, pretty sure he was voiced by Rob Paulson, I if, so, if yeah. I'm correct, who, who did the voice of the original Raphael in the old Ninja Turtles and new Donatello in the new Ninja Turtles. That guy's been a voice in everything. He has. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's a very right accomplished runner voice actor for sure. Next we've got a whole schlog of Marvel Pops and we're going to start with schlog. these because they are all from the same series. A schlog. A schlog. First we'll start with Spider-Gwen which we actually got the two exclusives uh, a while back. Uh, the unhooded and the fully unhooded. <laughs> yeah. Now that, that's exploitation. <laughs> but unhooded and fully unhooded. Uh, so this is actually fully costumed. Yeah, this is fully <laughs> costumed, the regular common, and this is probably the nicest one, honestly. It is, I, because it, I love her yeah. face and the side of her hood and everything. Yeah. It's very red and I love Spider-Gwen's mask. I love the whole uh, the pink and blue design. I love all the, the black stripes all over. She's very well formed. It's actually it, This is a, a really cool uh, Marvel superhero pop. Definitely. We have She-Hulk, of course, and I love her because she looks like a classic wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> big lady wrestler you love with the old, bright uh, purple uniform. <laughs> you love the old wrestler uniform. I do. It the looks so funny. Big hair on her. She's got that awesome hair. She's got like almost 80s hair. It's wicked. And those white gloves and everything. She is just... She looks so ready to fight. Yeah, like, she's, a, she, she's, she's a classic. She's ready to climb into the ring. She's a classic yeah. hero. <laughs> Falcon also looks like an old style Speaking wrestler. Of wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. And he, he looks great. That's the classic Falcon. His wings are awesome. The wings uh, are always the best part. Yeah, the wing, wings up. look great on him. Uh, and he's got that big falcon across the mask there. He's got that classic hair. He, he's, hair yeah, at the top. <laughs> he's, he's a really cool Marvel pop, too. He's got the big boots. he got the frills on him there. Just, uh, he, he's, he's a really fun pop. He's a fun pop, he is. We have Captain Marvel, of course, who also has just wicked looking hair. I love her hair all splayed back like that. And she has a really nice uniform with the... Uh, thing around her hair. I don't know what you would call this. Just a little... Like a sash. Yeah, sash. There you yeah. go. A sash around her hair. I, you should know that before <laughs> I should know that. You should definitely know that before me. I'm not into fashion. <laughs> I, I totally am into fashion. And she's got like that starburst <laughs> on the front of her uniform there. And she's just in an awesome little pose. And Captain Marvel's a wicked yeah, character. Yeah, Captain Marvel's too. cool, yeah. She's very awesome. I actually like the unmasked... Usually I'm not one for unmasked uh, hero pops. Because I find it, it's just a bland head on them. Part of the, but I, yeah. I actually like her unmasked pop better than yeah. her masked pop. Because honestly, I, I'm just not a fan of the style of uh, Captain Marvel's mask with the mohawk thing and yeah. all that she, stuff. She but just looks nicer with the hair. I, I, I like that one better. And of course, we have classic non Bumblebee Cumberbund <laughs> Doctor Strange. This is the uh, classic comic Doctor Strange, and uh, this is a really cool pop too. He's yes. also look, he's also got a sash. He's got a sash. Ah, sashes everywhere. Superhero sashes. Sashes for everyone. <laughs> uh, he's got that classic goatee. He's got the little white uh, stripes mm -hmm. on the side of his hair. Uh, big old square haircut. Uh, I but I like the cape. The cape. Coming up. Yeah, I like the uh, cape coming up around there, just around his neck. It, it's very, very nice, very classic. He's doing the little uh, magic, <laughs> magic pose. Very, very, very cool pop. But my favorite one of this entire series has got to be Doctor Octopus. This is wicked. Look at the octopus arms. That is that just is the greatest thing. Really cool. I love the four of those coming around, and they're looking like they're gonna grab. He's got that wicked hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> The very, very bowl the classic. cut. classic. Classic bowl cut. So bad. And he's got those big black glasses, of course. And yeah. his costume is just classic with the green and the orange. Yeah, it's so flash and, and, and like basic costume. But that's exactly how it always was for me growing up. It was exactly. that flat, green, orange costume. And the, the arms going everywhere is what really makes that pop. That that makes him a really cool pop. Yes, there's, I love it. There's so many pops that are so bland that if you take them out of the box, you... It, you really gotta, some of you gotta be told who they are, right? And if you have to keep a collectible in a box to tell who it is, it, it's not a good made collectible. No. But, uh, but him? You're gonna know who <laughs> yeah, it is right It's like, away. oh man, that's <laughs> Doc Ock. <laughs> so. Sticking with the Marvel theme, and we actually have a few more Marvel to go after this, here are some of the Doctor Strange pops. We have Doctor Strange himself, the Ancient One, Kaecilius, and Carol Mordo. So of course, this time, we do have Bandersnatch Corn on the Cob, uh, Doctor Strange. 
Uh, this one is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, we weren't really going to pick up any more, but, you know, we, we were addicted to <laughs> these things uh, for a while there. We're, we're getting better. Uh, but he's got his pose there through him. He's got the Eye of Agamotto on his robes. He's got more sashes and stuff. A lot of sashes today. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of sashes. He's got uh, great style robes, the little bit of hair on the side. Uh, the goatee. The only thing is he came out of the box, and this is a problem with a few of the Marvel ones being bobbleheads, is sometimes the springs are, are twisted. Yeah. Now, and, and he was actually placed in the box properly, but as soon as we took him as out... As soon as we took him out, his point. head just it, it just went twisted. Uh, and so it leads me to believe he's actually supposed to look like this. <laughs> uh, but, like I said, th this is a problem sometimes with Marvel Pops because, I mean, they're cheaply made plastic toys, right? They're, they're not... Um, you know, huge, huge, expensive statues or anything like that with lots of articulated detail. They're cheap plastic toys. If I want, I can bend the string back into place. Spring. spring. Not string. <laughs> spring. But, uh, there's going to be a lot of words said in this video. We're going to screw up a couple times. <laughs> but we also have the Ancient One, who was pretty cool. Uh, there was a lot of controversy when they announced her to be a female mm -hmm. in there for, you know, everybody flipped their lips. But I, I thought she did a really good job. I thought she did a great uh, job. Tilda Swinton, yeah, she, she is a great uh, actor. And, uh, I mean, Doctor Strange is not my favorite Marvel movie by any stretch of the imagination, right? But it was. We it was it a lot. It was a fun, uh, colorful, uh, visual treat. And um, she was one of the fun parts in yeah. it because she was so just cool. Mysterious, yeah, but also kind of... Hip, and she's, <laughs> she's got that pose, that holding the handout pose when she does all her uh, special like martial arts style moves. That was really cool, her fight yeah. scenes. Her clothes uh, are kind of waving. Yeah, her clothes are waving. She's got that action pose stance that stands like that. Big bald head and not, not a complicated head for Funko. No. <laughs> no. Uh, the bald characters never are. Uh, definitely not the most detailed head on a Funko Pop. But uh, the action pose and the robes really kind of help it, so... It, it helps to pop along. It's, it's not my favorite pop by a long shot, but uh, it does help the pop along having the uh, action pose. Jeez, his head went backwards now. <laughs> look, he doesn't know what he wants look, to do. I oh, fixed it. There you go. Don't touch him anymore. <laughs> oh, those those springs, man. Carl Mordo, Mordo. He's his son name is so hard for me. No, it's not Carl Mordo. It doesn't want to come out of my mouth. No, <laughs> Carl Mordo. Carl Mordo. There you go. <laughs> He actually makes a pretty cool pop, the only thing. He's one of those characters that, like you say, you, you might not really recognize him once he's out of the box. But he yeah. is really cool. He's got a lot of detail on the sword and on the uh, stuff around his outfit, the bands and sashes. He's got more sashes. He's, what I like is the scars on his face. Yeah, That's what makes the, him. He's um, got the stick, what's it called again, I can't remember, but oh, uh, one of the uh, you know enchanted uh, items. But he is really cool. He has a lot of detail. He's pretty awesome. I do like him. But again... He's, he's not as recognizable. Kaecilius, however, he takes the cake. He's yeah. awesome. Like, he has so much detail in his hair. Look at that. That is wicked. He has tons of detail in his outfit, but it's his face. It's the mark on his face and the sparkles and everything around his yeah. eyes where it looks like his face and is cracking. And I say, not, not my favorite character in the movie or anything like that either. In fact, uh, a lot of the Marvel villains are kind of weak in their some movies. Are, yeah. uh, but as a pop itself, he is very, very well done. Yeah, I love those eyes. Those eyes All the uh, braids in his hair and everything are, are really well done, too. You can tell this guy from a mile away. Yeah, sure. but the only thing is, if you just have Kaecilius, are you like, are you going to focus? Like, th let's true. face it, the entire collection hinges on you having a Doctor Strange. Yes. And <laughs> that's the, these characters yeah, make again, more sense. That, <laughs> that's the problem with a lot of Funko Pop lines, is they milk a lot of extra characters, but the extra characters are meaningless if you don't have a main character, really. Like... If you just had Kaecilius, who cares? Exactly. You know what I mean? So if you're going to collect any Doctor Strange pops, obviously make sure you have a Doctor Strange in there. Funko only made about 7 million of them for you to choose from, so I'm sure you'll, you can find, be able one. To find one. Yeah. We've got a couple of Civil War pops. We have the Walmart exclusive Glittery Black Panther, and we have the 4-pack with Hawkeye and Spider-Man and the two Pocket Pops. We're not counting the Pocket Pops in the 100. <laughs> no, they don't count for the 100. They're just extra. They're bonus. You know? There are the two pocket pops that come in the four pack and Iron Man and Captain America. I'm just gonna set those aside for yeah. now. Yeah, so little keychains are basically the same versions of the uh, bigger ones. Yeah. And this is the Walmart exclusive uh, Black Panther. Exactly the same <laughs> as the regular Black Panther, but it's glittery. And this, this is what I mean by uh, about sticker collectors. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, 
the glitter on this pop is not very fantastic. <laughs> it, it is uh, very, very, very plain. Uh, it, it's basically just thrown on there and it barely glitters. Yeah, it's not a very powerful glitter like no, some of the it, ones you see every it's, now and um, then. It's very it's, simple. It's very thin glitter that doesn't pop very well with the black. No, it, it's, it's, it's practically identical to the regular Black Panther, except in the light it sparkles just a tiny little bit that you really... You're not going to notice unless you're looking for glitter saying, gee, I wonder if that's the glitter one, not... Hey, it's Black Panther. That looks cool. <laughs> but I do like his suit from Civil War and everything like that with all the uh, lines and everything all over it. He is uh, he's pretty, you know, cool looking and all that. But he, he is a pretty basic pop. And like I said, the exclusivity of the glitter doesn't really stand out that much. Not too much. The Spider-Man, I love the positioning of him. He's got, he's doing his thwip. Oh, he's got to do his thwip. <laughs> and he's kind of in a crouched position, which I really like. He's ready to fight kind of thing. The kind of special part about it is that he's got Cap's shield. Unfortunately, it doesn't snap on there at all. No. It's just kind of hanging there. It fell off yeah. as soon as I took him out of the package. So you kind of got to get him into position and lean just us. Hope, just hope nothing bops your shelf yeah. or anything like that. But that is really cool. I did like the idea of having the pop with Cap's shield and he's all ready to fight and awesome. I loved him actually in the movie. Oh, yeah, I can't he was wait great to see Homecoming movie. because I, I really love Spider-Man and I enjoyed him in that movie. Yeah. And we've got Hawkeye of course who if you noticed he was laying down because he refuses to stand up at yeah. all. He is a really cool mold. Uh, you know, the Hawkeye character. I like the added purple of course yeah, too. Yeah, I um, really like his uniform on this pop. But yeah, typical Funko fashion. They're not worried about you actually standing your toys up. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. no. He is in a really cool position as well though. He's got kind of that He's lunging to one side, he's got his bow and arrows out, he's looking really cool. I really wanted this pack actually specifically for this pop because Hawkeye doesn't get a lot of pops and the other ones don't look nearly as nice. No. I really like the look of this pop. Yeah, I'd like to see a classic Hawkeye come out, but you know what? No, I take that back. I don't want to give Funko any more ideas. I want them to slow down. I want them to just stop for a while. No more pops. I'll be but happy with this one. I do like his bow and arrow, though. That That's yeah. really cool. There's a lot of detail on yeah. it. It looks really nice. It's much nicer than his previous and, pop. Yeah. And just like most... Uh, Funko pops without uh, helmets or anything on them like that. It's generic pop head number seven, right? <laughs> but that's recycled and stuff like that. But his outfit is really cool. I like the action pose. I just wish he could stand up yeah. better. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> We've got two Daredevil pops from the Netflix series. We've got Mask Vigilante Daredevil and Matt Murdock. And these are from the first uh, release of the Daredevil, not the second wave that just came out with the Elektra and Punisher and everything yeah. like that. So we've got Matt Murdock in his nice gray suit getting ready to go to work. I love him because of the bright red glasses that you can see his eyes through and he is of course uh, holding his walking stick as well. So that is Matt Murdock, the uh, lawyer, not a mass vigilante, just going off to the, work, the day going today, to fight some The day-to-day -day blind <laughs> lawyer with his rose-colored glasses. The rose-colored glasses are really the, what That's make what him. makes that pop along. And this is the masked vigilante from it, which the Daredevil TV series, uh, the Netflix series, the first season was basically prelude to the suit. Yeah. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm gonna call it Daredevil <laughs> prelude to the suit. Uh, but he's got his Cali sticks there, and he's got the mask tied behind his head obviously no uh no holes in the mask or anything because he doesn't need them no right face at all really very cool <laughs> it kind of adds to the intimidation factor all jet black and it's so jet black you, you can can't really see a lot of the details uh in the sculpt right i mean not that there's many it's pretty flat suit right yeah. there's like a line there a line there and like a belt with some uh very basic buckles on them you know pockets in the back of the pants but because it's so jet black all over it's basically a dipped black <laughs> um there's no real detail to it no, you but oh uh, the mask is, is still pretty cool though and it kind of helps this guy along and next we'll take a look at one of my buddy derek the border geeks favorite characters and a pop he actually probably wouldn't mind having because he's not a pop guy that's the shots fine that's an inside joke <laughs> but uh, we're looking at the nemesis version of Punisher, Mr. Frank Castle. So this guy's pretty cool. He's got the basically the classic Punisher Funko Pop mold uh, that they used for a couple of them, him and the Thunderbolts, which we don't have the Thunderbolts. Uh, he's got all the camo green <laughs> on the camo pants, the Punisher skull down there. 
He's got the big Punisher skull right across his I face. I love that. I love the face. Yep, the big black gloves with the guns just spread out like he's just ready to like, come at me, bro. <laughs> come at me. Right? He's uh he's a pretty intimidating looking pop. <laughs> so pretty cool. Who doesn't love Punisher? Punisher's awesome. Punisher's violent. Punisher's great. And rounding out the Marvel section of this haul, it's another Deadpool. Surprise! I don't have enough Deadpools. No, <laughs> they don't make enough. Funko doesn't make enough Deadpools. This is Dressed to Kill Deadpool. So Dressed to Kill Deadpool, of course, has the black suit on. He's got a little red tie and a little red handkerchief in his pocket there. I find this hysterical because it's just ridiculous the idea of a superhero in his suit putting a suit on over the suit <laughs> hey man deadpool is a pretty you know funny character it's, it's pretty cool I love but deadpool uh I, you know i love him because he's so ridiculous and you know there's not enough deadpool pops nope. uh but this is a prime example of funko knows how to get your money with very little effort because all this is is the better call Saul body yep and it's just <laughs> dipped in black with a little bit of red added to it and the basic deadpool head thrown on it and everybody just gobbles it up. <laughs> so, Funko. Funko. They know how to not make a lot of changes and get another, <laughs> you know, 10 bucks out of you here and there. So, But he's a previews exclusive. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And, and he's uh, Deadpool, so I love him. He's Deadpool. He's Deadpool, you love him. But you know what? You have too many Deadpool pops, so it might be time to downsize. Next, we've got a couple of Futurama pops. They're both Zoidberg. We, we got have Zoidbergs. Regular Zoidberg, and we have alternate universe Zoidberg. We've got a couple of Zoidbergs. <laughs> so these are identical in the mold. They're basically a color swap. You yeah. have regular Futurama Zoidberg, and this is the alternate dimension Zoidberg, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. So, of course, you have regular red lobster looking creature, yeah. and you have blue lobster looking the, creature. Yeah. The Zoidberg pop's pretty funny, too. You got the, uh, obviously the glove tentacles face yeah, and all and that the stuff. the little claws. Yeah. I love it. Zoidberg's actually is such a fun character. He is. He's a fun <laughs> character. He gets so much, um, you know, mistreatment mm -hmm. on the show it's and everything like that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor yeah. Zoidberg. It is pretty cool, Pop. Future on the line is pretty cool. They're very, very, very common. Yeah. But uh, they, you can they find do, them do everywhere. They do, them. they do a good job. It's that they don't They don't get a lot of love, I don't find, the uh, Future on Pops, but... <laughs> Zoidberg's pretty cool. They need, yeah, they need him in a scuttle pose. They do. Eh? They scuttle <laughs> I, pose. I think they kind of almost tried, but they, they, they need to tried. bend the knees a little yeah, bit more. Pops are very limited in what you can do with them. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of Hanna-Barbera pops. We've got Little Gruesome from Wacky Races, and this one is a Chase. We've got the Chase Snagglepuss, which is really awesome. So first, of course, we've got uh, Little Gruesome from Wacky Races. I did love Ra Wacky Races. I watched that a lot as a kid. Um, it's, a fun show. it's still a funny show, <laughs> watching all the races. Don't really collect Hanna-Barbera. Uh, don't really care about the Hanna-Barbera pops that much. I know uh, the guy, the CEO of Funko, that Brian fella, he, uh, he's obsessed with Hanna-Barbera. So that's one of the reasons we get so many Hanna-Barbera pops. Because uh, they're not the hugest sellers no. uh, by any stretch. Uh, but this one came as a referral pop from back in the Pop in a Box days, if I recall. Yeah, he's been sitting around so, for a while. Yeah, back when we used to do Pop in a Box. Uh, and he's kind of cool. Uh, I, like I think his jacket. There's like 700 variants uh, <laughs> of his skin and jacket color, uh, I think. But uh, I like though how he has like the hands in the pockets. It just he's, there's something you know, cute about his. The Hanna Barbera characters. As much as I don't collect them because they're not like my uh, fandom, my childhood, or nothing like that. They do translate pretty well to pop they form. Do. Of all the things that I'm a fan of that Funko does that don't translate well, uh, the Hanna Barbera ones actually translate really well. So I will give them that. He, he is uh, he's a pretty cool capture of the character. And speaking of translating well, come on. <laughs> Snagglepuss is perfect. Yeah, Snaggle <laughs> Snagglepuss is really good. They did a great job of Snagglepuss. His face is perfect. His ears are perfect. I love his little stance, and he's got the uh, cuffs around his arms. He doesn't wear clothes, but he's got the cuffs for some reason. <laughs> yeah. And he's got the little bow and everything. He is super cute, and what is awesome about the chase is that he glows in the dark. Which so you can cool. kind of see he's got that uh, slightly different paint job. It's like a faded him. look to yeah. him, because that's the, the glow-in-the-dark paint. So we're going to have to charge him up and see what he looks yeah. like glowing in the dark. We'll give him a try. <laughs> and next, we've got a whole line. Well, not the whole line, because this line was massively huge, but we've got a whole bunch of Rogue One Pops, <laughs> which we weren't even going to get. <laughs> uh, but then... 
Tracy's addiction habit kicked in again because we found them, like, clearanced out at a store, uh, a while back, and she was like, Fine! <laughs> This may have been around the time that I realized that I really had a problem. <laughs> yeah, and that, and we took steps. <laughs> she got better. I got better. So we've got Chur, C2B5, K2SO, Jin Erso, Director Orson, we got Captain Cassian, we got Saw Gerrera, and the Scarif, Stormtrooper. The Scarif Stormtrooper. That, they were actually, they were really cool in the movie. I liked the look of them. They were. I get C2B5 out of the way right away because he is basically just another R2 unit. They've made tons of R2 units and this one is the basic black one. He's got a little bit of yellow and blue on him and silver. But there you go, he's another R2 unit. <laughs> yeah, pretty basic. Uh, but, you know, the same mold, but fun. It's fun to collect the R2s, though. They're, they're so cute. Yeah. They look so cute all next to each other. <laughs> yeah. I love the Scarif Stormtrooper, though. This one is probably... No, no, he might not be my favorite. I do like K2SO too, but I love Stormtroopers. Um, I've always been a fan of the different style of Stormtroopers in the Star Wars movies. And I liked the look of the Scarif Stormtroopers. Yeah, it's almost got, really cool it's got that deserty color to it. You know, it's, it's more, it was more of a coastal fight. Uh, and it's got uh, all the red on it, the logo there. He's got the, uh, the face, the little breathing apparatus <laughs> there. All the little details, the gun. Uh, and like I said pouches and everything. I just really like the look of uh, all the different stormtroopers in the Star Wars universe, especially the more classic ones. Yeah. Classic right. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's like, it's timeless to me. You know what I mean? We've got Truce. Truce. You guys can kill me Truce. if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Oh, I can't I, remember how it's pronounced. Yeah, if we only saw the movie once so far, so I'm, yeah. I'm having a hard time remembering the exact It's one. out now, so we, we can go by and yeah. go see it again. But. He was actually one of my favorite characters in the movie. He was so cool, uh, walking around, just beating the crap out of everybody despite yeah. being blind. That was so awesome. So he's, he's Daredevil. He's Daredevil, basically, yeah. <laughs> he's got that nice big stick, and he's got the kind of blue eyes to show that he is, yeah, in fact, the faded blind. eyes. And yeah. his outfit is really nice as well. He's got sashes too, look. Everybody has sashes. <laughs> sashes Star Wars is sash universe. <laughs> I just, I just really loved that character. I thought he was yeah. super awesome. His robes are nice and everything yeah. too. Yeah. Lots he's... of little details and the thing on his arm there and everything. He's really cool. Yeah. Uh, here we've got Saw Gerrera, and he's a Walmart exclusive, and uh, he has a lot of detail on his outfit. Yeah. His head is kind of a basic round head, but it's got a very, uh, you can't really see too much unless you really look him. But he's got the scar going down his face, but it's kind of blended in yeah, with the face it's so it's faded. hard to see but his beard is pretty cool he's got his walking stick there his cape across the back and this is one thing that if you're an inbox collector you miss out on is the details on the cape on yeah. the back right he's got all the uh, extra design and stuff on it he's got all the hoses going across <laughs> his chest and everything like that uh, hold his breathing cool apparatus it's, it's really cool it, 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 that's a cool pop we've got K2SO, of course, who was probably my other favorite character. Oh, K2SO he, was awesome. He was so snarky and fun, yeah. and hearing his lines come of a robot mouth is just yeah. awesome. He, he, he made the movie great. He did. <laughs> He's got a ton of detail, of course, all these little robotic details. His head is much bigger in comparison to his body. He's just, he's really cool looking, actually. He's got a lot of just, yeah, he's just robotic looking, and I love his face. I love the design of his face. With yeah, he's got the classic of, droid look. Yeah, I yeah. don't... I don't even know what exactly it is about him that I love so much, but I love this particular pop. He's Imperial. long and lanky yeah. and robotic and awesome. The Imperial <laughs> design on him, and he's taller than the other ones, yes, too, so it's really cool. Significantly taller, which as, he as was much in as the movie. So. Funko is not known for scale or keeping things to scale. It, it does <laughs> help with the line a lot. Um, and this is Captain Cassian from the movie. I honestly wasn't a fan of him. Oh, no? No. I, like I, I know Cassian. a lot of people liked him. Um... I, I, I didn't really care much for him. In fact, I'm kind of glad he... Oh, wait, no, that's a spoiler. I better cut that out. So, I'm kind of glad he, um, you know, happened stuff. Everybody knows what happens to them. They're called Rogue One. They're just... Come on, am I really spoiling anything? So, anyway, he's a cool pop. Uh, he's, got, uh, he's got the backpack. He's holding out the gun. He's got his wavy, uh, you know sexy hairstyle of today you know <laughs> and he's got hair. his beard you know he's got the bushy um you know goes around your coat i can't remember yeah, what that's that called but you know the fuzz, fuzzy park, park fuzzy fuzz. hood the park fuzz, <laughs> fuzzy hood uh he, he is a decently done pop like i say outside of the box uh you know 
unless you have other Star Wars pops to go with it, which obviously you probably would if you're collecting this. Uh, not so much, but uh, I don't care much for the character, but he does do an okay pop. <laughs> we have Jin Erso, of course, and if you're going to say that you didn't like Captain Cassian, I gotta admit, I wasn't the biggest fan of Jin nope, Erso. Either. I didn't mind her. <laughs> She wasn't too bad, just I didn't really get into her character, I guess. But she does make a cute pop. I really like her hairstyle with the little bun at the base of her neck there, and she's got the bits of hair falling around the side of her face. She's got her blaster, of course, and she's wearing, like, the leather vest and all that kind of thing. Not a huge amount of detail, but she is pretty cute. She's one of those characters, again, that if you had just her standing by herself, you'd have no yeah, idea so who much, she was. But, uh... but with with all the other Rogue One pops... In the base that says Star Wars on it, so that helps too. Star Wars. She's not too bad. Right, so you were, okay. so you weren't the biggest fan of her. I wasn't the biggest fan of him. But that's Star Wars. There's something for everyone. <laughs> and of course, lastly, we have director Orson Krennic. He is probably one of the plainer ones because of the style of his outfit, but he's also possibly one of the more recognizable ones. Yeah, I well, think. he's got that classic um, imperial. Yeah, that look imperial to him. robe and the yeah. buttons on the front there and everything. So you you know this is the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you know you know he's he's on the bad guy team. And he's got that bit of gray <laughs> on the side of his head on his hair there. Very nice. I actually I liked him as a bad guy. He was so cranky and petulant. And he was so and nibbly and, and sneaky. <laughs> exactly. And, and he's always being right underhanded. He's kind of holding a blaster off to the side there as well, kind of Yeah, see, it shows. It. it shows that he's, he's underhanded. Uh, you nice. know, he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. <laughs> I like snivelly, horrible so, bad guys. I liked Rogue One. <laughs> uh, you know, so Rogue One split some people, but I liked Rogue I liked One. I thought, it was, I thought it was a really fun, uh, excellent movie. Next, we have the four baseline Duck Dodgers Pops. Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers in the 21st century. We've got Space Cadet, Duck Dodgers himself, Marvin the Martian, and K-9. So first, we're looking at uh, Duck Dodgers himself and the Space Cadet. Uh, Duck Dodgers really, really cool. That he's got so that cool. dome around him. Uh, he's got the big beak sticking out, uh, the hand on the hip. Very, very cool. Love the color scheme. I know you can get them in like a couple color schemes. Yeah. They have like some glow variants that are harder to find, things like that. The antenna sticking out of the top of the dome through the little hole. Uh, classic angry uh, duck look. And Space Cadet, all in purple. Looks classic Looney Tunes style, right? Got the antenna, things like that. Holding his hands out. Uh, you know, the pig face, classic pig face. He's so cute. But these are an example of, uh, you know, when we were heavy into buying pops. Uh, and I was like... Why the heck did I buy these? <laughs> uh, I mean, I like Looney Tunes and all that stuff, but when you start collecting pops of things you just kind of like or or you remember a bit, that's when it gets out of hand. <laughs> so, hand real fast. Uh, and so you kind of gotta love them. But as far as pops go, though, uh, this guy, mm, I don't really care so much. He's kind of plain basic, cool face, stuff like that. But Duck Dodgers is actually a really cool pop with that big dome around him, that clear dome. I actually do like that a lot. It's just, like I said, why am I buying Duck Dodgers pops, <laughs> yeah. right? That said, we've got Marvin the Martian and K-9. And I'm telling you right now, Marvin was probably always my favorite Looney Tunes character. Marvin's awesome. Love him so much. I love his voice. He's awesome. He's like just so funny. You know what? Funny. <laughs> That's why we have Duck Dodgers pops. Yeah, we pretty didn't much. didn't just buy Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> so. He is awesome with his, like, Spartan-style helmet with the broom brush yeah. on the top. Classic Roman broom brush. <laughs> the little kind of skirt almost coming out on the sides there. He's got his big blaster gun. He, he looks really angry. He's, he's, he lost his bomb. Yeah, Somebody he needs to X-22 space <laughs> modulator. He needs the space modulator. I can't even begin to try that voice. No, I don't think I did it very good. I can't hear it in my own head. So. But he is awesome. And there is also K-9, of course, his trusty yeah. space dog companion who, who looks is, awesome. Yeah. He's an excellent compliment to that. Yes, pop, he, the actually. two of them together look great. And he also has the kind of Spartan-style helmet with the little brush on the top. The big floppy ears coming down. He is so green, though. He almost looks like he would be a glow-in-the-dark pop. Almost. The, the, the very, color very of him green. looks very glowish. He is not, but he looks like it. <laughs> I like it, though. It's awesome. It is. And he's got that great big nose and the great big feet. He's just... The two of them together are, yeah. like, the best things ever. <laughs> now let's show off some vaulted pops from a movie I absolutely loved because I love Quentin Tarantino movies. They're so self-indulgent. <laughs> 
He's such a self-indulgent director. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> uh, but these, bought these uh, a while ago. Uh, I just never got around to showing them. And the, these are all, I'm pretty sure the whole line is Balto. There's pretty five sure, in yeah. the line and one uh, exclusive variant. Uh, and we have these four to show off today. We got and, uh, Bill, The Bride, Gogo Yubari, and Oren Ishii. And these are, these are pretty cool. So I'm going to take the lead on uh, these ones. And here we have Oren Ishii. Uh, only thing with this pop is it's got, you know, around the neck where the pop connects. Uh, it's worse than a lot of other Funko Pops are. Yeah, that's it's... never been pretty anyway. But it's all kind yeah. of marked. But it's all kind of uh, spread apart and stuff like that. Try to fit her sword in there. But she is really cool if you ignore that. She's got the flower in her hair. She's got the classic robe Freaking from the bun. fight scene. <laughs> uh, she's got her sword out ready to fight the big huge bun. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's a very neat pop from a very iconic scene yeah, in the she movie. Was a fun character. And of course, she fights the bride, the star of the movie, <laughs> right? The bride in the classic uh, Bruce Lee style inspired <laughs> jumpsuit. And that was ah, oh, I love the Kill Bill movie so much. Um, she's so yellow. <laughs> she is. She's so perfectly bright yellow. Uh, the skin tone is a little bit darker, so the yellow stands out just a bit more. She's holding the sword out, ready to fight in the classic stance. And very, very great. Lots of little tiny uh, details on the suit that are really, really hard to see, but you can appreciate that they're there. But yeah, lots of little lines on the suit, the classic black, uh, kind of like racing stripe lines. Very, very cool. Hand on the hip. Nice pose. <laughs> Bill. Bill's awesome. Bill. That's David Carradine. <laughs> Like, 100%. Now look at him. He's got that big, long, flowing it. hair. It's also, like, yeah. it puffs out on the side, too. I love it. It's so, yeah. so big. He's got his big hair. Sword, he's got his sword there ready. He, he doesn't necessarily look like he's ready to fight, though, but he looks like he's ready to give you his Superman lecture from the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> his Clark Kent lecture. Uh, he's got the tired eye lines underneath his face. Uh, very, very cool. Again, he, he's a bit basic as far as molds and stuff go because these guys came out uh earlier when funko pop yeah. still was focusing a lot on the basic molds and they didn't really need to uh kind of amp up the molds a bit yet to you know keep interest too, and too stuff detailed, like that yeah. um this one is probably the star of the show though yeah i would think so too. yeah this is gogo yubari from the classic extremely classic fight scene that was just an awesome fight. Come on, who didn't love that fight scene? <laughs> Blood everywhere and everything. It was so, so awesome. And she looks so innocent. Yeah, she does. And she's got her <laughs> innocent little Japanese schoolgirl uniform on. She's got the hairdo. classic uh, hairdo. She's got the awesome, awesome uh, ball and chain uh, that she uses for fighting in the movie. That was with so cool. Little bow tie and everything. There's an Entertainment Earth exclusive that I don't think you can get anymore. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure everything Kill Bill has been vaulted. Where the only difference, though, is that she has little red uh, bloodlines mm. down her face from when she gets hit with the ball in the movie, and and that's basically it on the exclusive. So if you're lucky enough to find either, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. go for it. Um, she got the high white socks on. The only thing with these is they don't go on the stands very well. No. Um, these are early Funko Pops with stands, and the little tiny feet. Uh, they don't leave really enough of a hole in the foot for you to stick it down on the peg. Yeah, so, so they're, they're kind of popped up a little bit. They're kind of popped up a little bit, so if you kind of moved it too much, she'd kind of fall right off. So the stands aren't the best, but the pops are really cool if you're a Kill Bill fan. Now we have three Labyrinth Pops, one of my all-time favorite movies, yeah, especially you, when I was a kid. You really do love that Such movie. Such an awesome movie. I want to watch it right now, actually. Yeah, <laughs> we I have Jeriff, Hoggle and Sarah with Worm. So I'll start with Jareth, the Goblin King. Come on. <laughs> Look at that, Bob. Come on, he's that, Bowie. That is David Bowie through and through. Look at him. He's got that awesome, awesome, super spiky hair that's just the everywhere. Hair. The hair is amazing. The big winged eyeliner. Gotta love that. <laughs> His outfit is awesome. He's got the long coattails in the back. He's holding the walking stick there. He's got lots of little details in like the necklace around him and he's got the buckle on the side and everything. He is just so cool, and he was so awesome in that movie. I love it so much. Like, yeah, I gotta he, watch it right now. He's very cool. <laughs> love his eyeshadow. <laughs> love the eyeshadow. Love the big purple and the black wings and everything. That's awesome. <laughs> Hoggle, they did a great job on the paint job because he just looks grody. Yeah. He is, he's dirty and disgusting. He just crawled out of a hole. It's awesome. 
He's got that real goblin-y face. He's all, he's just, he's ugly, which he's supposed to be. So it's yeah. awesome. <laughs> and he's all dirty. He's got little like uh, pouches hanging on his belt and stuff like that. He's holding the fruit. He's got, actually he's got pouches all over him. It's awesome. He's got the uh, ties in the front and everything there. And just, again, the fact that he looks so dirty and muddy and just horrible. I like that his awesome. brows stick out. Too. Yeah, like, and, and in his a classic, nose, too. A classic puppet yeah. style. And he's got those big, long ears. Big, huge yeah. ears. He's, he's really awesome. And lastly, we have Sarah and Worm. Now, Sarah, plain human character, there's not a whole lot about her that distinguishes her if she was standing by herself. But there are little things about, like, the clip in her hair. She's got that bracelet on that she's got in the movie, so there is a little bit of detail. What helps you know who she is, though, is the little worm. Yeah. And the little worm is awesome. He's got that, like, fuzzy hair sticking out on the sides of his head, and he's got his little red scarf on. He is adorable. You're gonna have to get a good close-up on him because he's tiny. <laughs> but he is having him with her. That is, like, what makes her yeah. elaborate. This, this is another example, like we said, though, where a line hinges entirely on one pop. Though. Exactly. And it, it hinges entirely on the Goblin King. But have the Goblin King. Like, let's face, this is another example of she's a main character in the movie, but it just doesn't translate good. Yeah, that's Because it's, it's very plain. She, it's she's very boring. Little, she's not, it's not that she's not well done. It's just that she's such a plain human character yeah. in plain clothes. It's, so it's there's just not much to make her interesting. It's uninteresting. And sticking with Jim Henson movies for a minute, we've got some Dark Crystal Pops. We have the Chamberlain Skeksis. I can't say that. Skeksis? It's just one of those things won't come into my mouth. <laughs> and we have Ursul the Enchanter. Now these are crazy pops. And just a cool little tidbit if you're an inbox collector, uh, this is one of the few pops. I don't know if any other. Yeah, I think there's a couple other basic Might pops come like this, but it's actually designed on the side. So if you stack it, it's going to be out of place in your inbox collection. And I love that it's going to bug you. <laughs> <laughs> Ursal is just so so cool. There are so many lines in her face to make her look nice and old and decrepit. <laughs> and she's got the four arms and the two feet, and she's like in this weird crouching position, all crumbled up like a spider got the big long tail and the walking stick and there's just a ton of detail in her. She's got so many little yeah. lines and details and like the little the, rune marks in her face yeah, and rune everything, marks, the wrinkles. The wood on the staff, there's just tons and tons of wrinkles yeah. and everything. Down her in back her. on that that whatever it is that's like a it's like a drape like a, over her it's back. It's like a chest plate but on her back and it's got tons and tons of detail in it. It's so cool. She's really hefty too actually. Yeah. Very, very sturdy. Pop. This guy's heavy too, actually. This is the Chamberlain uh, word you can't Skeks. say. Skeks. 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, these these pops are actually really fantastic. Like it's surprising. Like you look at some pops and then you realize Funko can put a lot of detail oh, into for their sure pops. They can. Yeah, there's lots and, of detail and pops. This because these are insane. Like look at all the wrinkles on his face. He's got that beak. He's got the. Uh, frills going all around his head there big huge like uh armory type cloak yeah, on the tons back of details in that cloak you know as well. all the frills all the buckles you know the frills coming out of his sleeves and the sword look at that sword the sword is really cool that is insanely cool big uh gold color it's actually the, me the metal paint is actually applied very well uh you know how metallics sometimes turn out yeah. in the pop world <laughs> they don't always come out the best this one's done well but and it pops the, very yeah, it pops <laughs> very very well it's very well painted there's there's you know what there's like almost no paint flaws on this which is rare for a pop very very rare and even like around all the uh, edges of the cloak and everything it's got like a dust yeah kind of like painted a dirty, in dirty dusty paint so that it just looks like it's been dragging everywhere. It's awesome. It's absolutely, it's it's very, very well done. And I love his face because he's snarling with those squinted eyes. <laughs> Let's get these weird ones out of the way. Yeah, we got these uh, damaged box price. It's actually got these really, really cheap. Uh, don't really care about the Domo collection or anything, but it was Ghostbusters, right? And we do really, really like Ghostbusters. So They're kind of funny. For the super cheap price we paid for them, why not add them to the Ghostbusters collection, at least for a while anyway, okay. until we had to downsize. At least that's what we were thinking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Things got big! <laughs> so we've got Domo Slimer and Domo Ghostbuster. So here we have the Domo Ghostbuster in the standard Ghostbuster style uniform. Of course, it says Domo <laughs> on his name tag. Domo is a Japanese mascot, uh, if you don't know 
anything about him or who he is. Uh, he's got the big proton pack on the back. He's got the goggles like Ray. So he he's kind of modeled after the Ray pop, just yeah. done in a Domo style. He's got those big, flat, like, <laughs> melted... Uh, hands? What are they called? Milk duds? He's got those big, <laughs> flat, melted milk dud hands. And he's got his classic <laughs> Domo face. Um, it, it's pretty cool. It's a neat little mashup. Uh, it's, again, we only got it because we got him uh, really cheap at the time. But it, it is kind of neat if you're a Ghostbusters fan or a fan of, like, Japanese stuff. And we do have the Slimer one as well, which is actually done... It's basically exactly like the actual Slimer yeah. Pop in the exact same position and everything. They just did the shape of the Domo's body and his face. So it's got all the ooze and everything, but it's just the Domo's body with, again, those puffy hands and that weird just... Ah. Whatever that face is that he always makes. I do like that it's it looks it's like the exact same base as yeah, the slimer pop because I love identical. I actually do love the slimer pop because it's so different. It is I love uh, the compared pop. to all the the basic <laughs> pops. Uh, he's got like that, and, and the domo is done in the exact same fashion. So that's actually really cool. Very nice. We got a couple of Ferris Bueller's Day off pops. We got Cameron Fry and Ferris dancing. Dancing Ferris Bueller. Dancing Ferris Bueller. There is Dancing Ferris in kind of a boogieing pose. Oh. He's got his little microphone there. He's got that classic Ferris Bueller hair and the really funky looking vest. Yeah, pretty funky. <laughs> Very funky looking vest. Very nice. Again, I, it's kind of plain. I will be honest. These are some of the pops that I that I am sitting here saying, why did I buy these? Because Everybody's got a pop, at least one pop that said, yeah. why did I buy this? Many of us have many pops. Awesome <laughs> movie and everything. Just they're They're not... They're not standoutish pops. enough. Yeah. Uh, case in point, the Cameron pop. I mean, he's got the you know Detroit Red, Wing, Red Wings uh, jersey that he has on in the movie, but I mean, look at that pop. Yeah. Like if you just had him standing there by himself, that needs a he's box. Just dude with a yeah. jersey. This is this <laughs> this is a boring pop. So I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is an absolutely boring. And I I love Ferris Bueller. Everybody loves Ferris Bueller. That's a classic movie from the '80s. But this is a boring, boring, boring pop. <laughs> like, I can't say any more of how boring... Th this looks like a pop of a Red Wings fan exactly. in the stadium. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a boring, boring pop. And speaking of absolutely boring pops, I have an angel from Buffy. I'm sorry, fellow Buffy fans. I am an enormous Buffy fan. She but, is. But this is a terrible pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the Buffy line is kind of boring. <laughs> Quite a few of the Buffy pops, they just they just don't look enough like the character. There's not enough details and everything. And this is the worst offender in my personal opinion. It is just dude in a suit. Yeah. With kind of darkish hair. The Oz is pretty bad too. The Oz is pretty bad too. Yeah. yeah they're but... they're just very very plain human looking characters in regular clothes. They're, they're just, they're boring. I'm sorry, that, that's they're, boring. It's a I love boring Buffy, line. but that's boring. He came from uh, just like a pop in a box referral or something, yeah. didn't he? Or something like Because I know we didn't go out and buy this guy. Yeah. Uh, he was just a random pop that uh, came in the mail. But yeah, um, the best pop of that line by far any stretch is the vampire spike. Definitely. Because you can kind of tell like who it is. He's got the vampire <laughs> face. All the other Buffy pops, I mean, like I said, yes, important show, uh, but you have to have them all to even guess what you're looking at. Exactly. At least because Buffy has a stake, <laughs> right? They're, they're a boring line of pops that just, great show, doesn't translate well. We've got three aliens from Independence Day. This one has quite a bit of box damage. Yeah, this one came from, actually a couple of these came from Pop in a Box, so that's why you can <laughs> obviously notice the massive box damage because, let's face it, Get a lot of damage pops from Pop and Box. That's, yeah. that's, just, that's just what they do, I think. <laughs> We've got the Alien Warrior and two different versions of the basic alien. So the Alien Warrior comes from the Resurgence movie, and he is actually pretty cool, I have to admit. The face is just creepy looking. We've got that big line up the back of his strangely shaped head. He's got all those little tentacles and everything. The tentacles are so gross. They have, we're just noticing they have these weird backwards feet. It's, yeah. it's almost like their foot is bent under and they're walking on the top yeah. of it. Very, very cool. Super, super cool looking. And of course, he's got the gun and the little bit of armor on his shoulder and everything there. Very, very neat looking pop, I gotta admit. Yeah, and uh, this one is the classic alien from the first movie line. And 
They're, these are basically the exact same mold, yeah. uh, just a different variant. Um, this, I believe, is supposed to be the alien when he's dead. Yeah, that's... I, I believe is what they were going alien. for with this. They don't say, uh, you know, dead alien on the box <laughs> or anything like that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for, is this is during the classic, uh, where they're cutting them open scene and stuff like that. And this is the classic alien from the movie. And these are some of the nicest design pops that they've ever made. They're very, like I said, they're it, very nicely molded. It's definitely a niche uh, movie to create the collectible on. Uh, you know, it's not as big as something like Batman or something yeah. like that, or even Alien itself. Um, but they're definitely very, very, very cool molds with all the tentacles coming out of the back. Um, the dead alien with the dead white eyes is really cool. And I also like the solid... It actually trans the solid black Funko Pop eyes actually translate yeah. very coolly <laughs> to these. It makes them more uh, intimidating. They've got all the uh, tentacles coming down yeah. from their lips. Very, very, very cool. The the shades of pink on this guy. Uh, you know they're they're nice pops. They're yeah. very nice pops. They look very cool together too. Yeah, they're, it's a cool set. I really don't care about the human characters from these lines at all. No. But those are another case of extremely extremely boring pops. It's all about the aliens. Give me my aliens. Yeah. Now let's look at a set of exclusives from one of my favorite zombie movies ever. I can still remember when we went to the theater and seen this movie. It was almost empty yeah, at the time. Yeah, there was like three of them. Yeah, there was like maybe. maybe six people in the movie total. Two of them being us. And we laughed louder than like any comedy movie <laughs> that I went to uh, that God year. <laughs> just, just the six of us, you could hear us louder than any comedy movie I went to that year. And this is from Shaun of the Dead. We got the exclusive uh, Entertainment Earth Blood Splatter, uh, Shaun and Ed. And we have Zombie Ed, which is a pop culture exclusive. And I think might have been Fugitive Toys in the US, I'm not sure. I can't really remember what this this is a pop culture supernova exclusive here of very Ed is cool. a zombie. Very, very neat. Let's take a look at them. <laughs> Alright, so these are from the horror genre, obviously. So these these are right up my alley. So we've got Ed here with his shovel. His classic shovel from that that scene. He's got the I Got Wood uh, <laughs> t-shirt on that him. Classy t-shirt. Oh yeah. He he was like he was a classy guy in that movie. But I mean everybody Ed was that uh, lovable bum. Yeah. in the movie, you know what I mean? He's got the blood splatter all over him just for added effect. That's the exclusive aspect of it. Uh, it's basically the same as the regular version. Yeah. It just has the extra nice blood splatter. splatter. Uh, the rusty shovel's got little marks in it. Um, you know, kind of a simple pop, but you can tell who the character is, you know, and with, with, the, with the, the shirt. shirt and the shovel, um, you know. It it's... helps to have him with Sean, though. They're, they're kind of a pair. Yeah, you don't so, want to have just one. Yeah, it's nice to have them <laughs> together because they kind of go together as a pair. Having just one. If you only had one, though, you got to go with Sean. Oh, definitely. Now, he's got the big cricket bass. Um, he's got the classic uh, ginger hairstyle. Mm -hmm. You know, he lo looks like Little Simon Pegg. <laughs> looks like Simon <laughs> Pegg. Eh? That, that's Simon yeah. Pegg the pop. He definitely looks like Simon Pegg. He's got, yeah, he's got the goatee there. He's got the tie. Um... I'd say, you know, look, he's got red on him, but it's also the blood splatter exclusive, so he has red on him all, <laughs> all over. But just if you needed to know, he does have that little bit of red on the pocket, <laughs> like in the movie, or the, uh, you've got red on you. So this yeah. is, these pops are basically from right after they beat up that first zombie. Yeah, this is like and they right after. Splattered. This is the zombie <laughs> in the backyard scene. That's when, and then afterwards they're sitting on the couch and he's just like, with the coffee mug and it's just eating the cornetto because it's the cornetto trilogy every movie has cornetto in it like in, in some way those are awesome and this is zombie ed um spoilers for a movie from 2004 <laughs> you know what i mean if you haven't seen it yet that's your own fault um this is zombie ed now zombie ed doesn't have a shovel in the movie they just yeah. they didn't want to make a new mold for the uh exclusive but uh he does become a zombie at the end of the movie and he's kind of treated like a pet. <laughs> and uh, he's really cool. He's really neat. Um, his blood splatter uh, over his face, it yeah. kind of looks like his his just his grizzle. He's got like this beardy um, unshavenness. He doesn't have a beard, but he has an unshavenness about him. And it looks like it just got filled with blood and yeah. didn't wash out. <laughs> um, he's got the faded eyes. Which I is... love the eyes. I love the big gray circles around his eyes. Like 
they're yeah. all sunken. But and not only are they faded blue, they have a little bit of uh, the gray yeah. underneath the bottom of the circle too, which just adds a little bit of extra to it. Um, he's blood splattered too. Very, go figure. Very blood <laughs> yeah. and a bit dirty as well. His yeah. shoes and everything. Look yeah, he's got uh, kind of like a a dirt dusting, like a mud dusting uh, on his shoes a little bit there. Again, holding the shovel. He doesn't do that in the movie, but you can't see the I got wood on his t-shirt because his, by the end of the movie, it's just soaked yeah. in blood. It's, it's, he's just 100% right. blood. Yeah, he's just covered <laughs> in blood. But uh, very, very cool uh, from a movie I absolutely love. So these are pops that are going to be, you know, staying here for good. Definitely. Because that, that, it's just one of my favorite <laughs> zombie movies ever. Uh, big into the horror genre, big horror fan. These are definitely like one of my favorite little series yeah, that we definitely. got. <laughs> <laughs> Next up got the entire wave of the new style of Disney princesses. Absolutely love them. Got Belle, Cinderella, Ariel, Rapunzel, and Tiana. And Ariel is a Hot Topic exclusive full of glitter. Woo! <laughs> So I'll kind of take the reins for these five. For I, mean, <laughs> I like Disney and stuff like that, but it's not like a major fandom or anything for me. It's just something. I like geeky yeah, stuff. Exactly. Disney's not really geeky. It's more like uh, everybody loves Disney. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I love this new line of Disney princesses because they look so much nicer than the they old do. original ones. They the really older do. original ones were cute, but these ones are so much more detailed and dynamic. They're, kind of, they're dancing. They're posing. They're so cute. So we've got Cinderella, of course, first. And she is kind of holding her dress out by both sides. It's like she's, a curtsy. She's walking down the staircase. Is oh, what she's yeah, doing. Okay, I believe yeah. that. I'm guessing that that's. No, that you're doing. definitely right. So she's she's holding up her dress and walking into the ball, and she's super cute with the little, big. Well, I should say yeah. enormous the little, bun. The little big, <laughs> little big bun. Yeah, she's it's got the little big bun. An enormous bun in her hair, and she's got the yeah. cute blue on uh, the headband and everything. The little eardrop earrings. She is super, super adorable. I love her. Yeah, she you're going to talk about her huge, tiny earrings? Just, shush. Little big, <laughs> little big bun and her huge, tiny earrings. She is so, <laughs> so much nicer than the original Cinderella pop. We have Belle, of course, and she's in kind of a dancing pose because she's at the ball of two. Yeah. The, the two-person ball. <laughs> <laughs> and she is so cute. I love her dress. She got all the frillies coming out at the bottom there because she's holding up so you can see all the little... The frillies? Head, petticoats. I don't know. Again, fashion. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. T-shirts t and jeans. Those are the frillies. She's cute. She's adorable with the long gloves and everything. She's got the cute little earrings as well. She's got that pretty hairstyle that she has in the movie. Very, very cute. And again, so much nicer than the original one, in my opinion. We have... Rapunzel, and I will say actually Rapunzel's first pop isn't bad, it's very oh, nice. Oh, Rapunzel's first pop is great. Yeah, yeah, it was one of the later ones and it has, is actually very nicely done, but I like this one as well because they did the flowers. So they've got from that scene where the, the little girl guy kind of girls, they fix up her hair in a big long braid and they put all these pretty flowers in her hair. That is super, super nice. And I like how they kind of got her, her dress is flailing up so that you can see the bare feet because she spends the entire movie in bare feet. So that is actually very, very super cute. You know, Tangled was a good movie. Tangled's an awesome movie. It's a I great movie. Tangled. It was so adorable. We have Tiana, and again, Tiana's original pop is pretty nice as well because it's a, a more recent of the Disney princesses. But the other one, she's wearing the green dress. This one, she's wearing the blue dress, so it is quite a bit different. She's doing a little bit of a dancing pose there as well. She's got a sash. Four sashes. <laughs> a lot of sashes in this So video. many sashes. She's got a cute kind of updo hairstyle there as well with the little bits flailing down in the front and a little sprig in the back. And that cute little tiara. Very, very adorable. Again, she's, she's not better than the other one because the other one it was a more newer pop as well. But they have different dresses and different poses, so very cute. I kind of wish she had the green dress, though, still, because then because there's two princesses with the blue dresses That's now. true, actually. And blue yeah. is just so... I mean, because Cinderella is so old, blue is just... Her blue dress that, is kind of just situated yeah, with her. That's her dress. So I kind of wish, just time. for color's <laughs> sake, they kind of kept the green. But, I mean, it's still... It, it's a nice, dynamic pop. It's a good pop. So. And lastly, we have Ariel, who is my princess. My favorite princess of all time. I loved Little Mermaid growing up, watched it a million times. And this is the one with the translucent and glittery dress. So you have that kind of see-through pink, all scattered through with glitter. Very, very pretty. She is also dancing. I'm not sure exactly 
why they chose to have her dancing like this because I don't think that happens at all. I don't know, maybe it does. I, 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 my memory is kind of slippy they, on everything. They, they like, just wanted I think to make they her just, look feminine and pretty like the rest of them. I, no, I think it was just because they wanted to have a more dynamic line instead of your basic standstill pop, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. And I they liked wanted to that. have them in motion. Yeah, I like that they made the nice. line very dynamic. I, I thought it looked nice. Yeah. And speaking of her, um, she's a Hot Topic exclusive, by the way, the translucent one. Um, there are, you can get the translucent pops for like three or four of these, yeah. uh, can't you? There's and, a few uh, different princesses with this, translucent sparkles. I've, I've seen the translucent versions of all of them. This is the only nice one I've come across. Yeah. The other ones we've seen, they just didn't do a good yeah. job with the glitter. The it's worst. Patchy and all over the, the place. The worst one I've seen is the Walmart exclusive bell for the yeah. translucent. Honestly, um, of this line, because they have translucent ones, they have uh, glitter splashed on ones, they have basically any kind of small variant they could have milked, they did it. And I'm going to tell you right now, honestly, the nicest looking ones are the commons. The yeah. basic commons. These ones sitting right here, these are the yeah. nicest these are, ones. There's metallic ones too, but sometimes the paint is off and things like that. Uh, the nicest ones are actually the commons. So if you can get the commons, in my opinion, you have the nicest looking pops of those Disney princesses. Definitely. Ariel's not bad. <laughs> Ari Ariel's done nothing. You know what? Ariel's hot. Not as a pop, though. Not as a pop. <laughs> you know? Go back and watch The Little Mermaid as, like, a young male. And you'd be like, you know what? Yeah. Ariel was kind of hot, man. She was hot. She had fiery ginger hair. She was hot. So we'll stick with the Disney theme since we have a few more Disney ones to There's go through. A few more, yeah. This is actually another princess. She just kind of came out as her own series. We have Pocahontas, and she comes with Miko. Pocahontas is very nicely done. She's obviously not in a big poofy frilly dress like the rest of the princesses, but she is so cute in her little outfit with all the frills around the ends and everything. She's wearing her... It's kind of hard to see from here because her chin is coming down over top of it, but she is wearing that necklace with the well, shell. Well, she doesn't have to overdo it because she paints with all the colors of the wind. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need to overdo the fashion. <laughs> they did a lovely job of her hair and she does have that little red tattoo band on her uh, arm there. So she is actually, she's very nicely done, very recognizable. Yeah. They came. We should have, uh, they should have made her hair blowing backwards so Actually, I could do yeah. that. Just so I could do it. <laughs> Paint with all the colors of the wind. See, I watched Disney movies. You're losing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been too many pops. I'm going crazy. And she came in her own series with her little buddy Miko, who is the little raccoon buddy who is always stealing everybody's food, and he is holding a little biscuit there. That is super cute. He's, He's really cute. well done as well. I wish half size pops were cheaper than normal size pops. Though. Half size price? Yeah, <laughs> it should be half, half size price. At least a little bit of a discount, you know what I mean? He's They're, super adorable though. They're Come so on. tiny. He is adorable. I almost wish he came as like a sidekick to this pop though. You know I, what I mean? I will say too, the only thing I wish Pocahontas had come with a little flit. I know they would have had to make it just so tiny you yep. can barely see it. But, oh, now you're just being picky. But but they're always <laughs> together. Pocahontas and Miko just, and Flit are always together. Just be happy that you got Pocahontas. I know. Jeez, <laughs> she's grubby. cool. And, she, and he's cute, so I love him. Next to The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast was probably my next most watched Disney movie, yeah. and Lumiere is such a fun character. Mine was probably Lion King. Actually, yeah, Lion King's Lion up there. Lion King was up there. It came out just at the peak <laughs> of Disney in my life. Lumiere is so awesome though. Look at him. He's really well sculpted for, you know, he's a candlestick. Yeah. He's a candlestick. <laughs> but they have kind of a translucent flame on all of these little flames and he's super... I love how his nose is like poking up over the edge <laughs> of the candlestick holder. <laughs> and he's got yeah. those big eyebrows. Yeah, he's a He pretty, looks concerned actually. Pretty cool little Disney pop. I don't know, he looks... he just looks like a joyful little French candle to me. <laughs> He's getting ready to start singing. He just any wants you to now. be our guest. <laughs> I love him. He's and so cute. He was like the last one of like the the furniture for the Beauty and the Beast one that you needed, right? Yeah, I From already had Cogsworth cartoon. and Mrs. Potts don't, and Chip. Don't care about the new movie pops. No. So, no. All that <laughs> I'm happy movie with stuff. the cartoon. Thank you. Very That's much. the classic. And I know uh, Zach, the 101 Jenko, has been waiting for us to show this one off for a while. He kept uh, messaging saying, "When are you going to show off that uh, Evil Queen?" So there is. The Evil Queen pop from Snow White. <laughs> the Evil Queen is such a classic character. I actually really... This is an older pop, so back when there wasn't all that much detail and quality yeah. control and all that kind it, of thing. I mean, it didn't get vaulted 
early like a lot of the other ones. It don't. I, it might not even be vaulted yet. I don't even know. I don't know, but but it is uh, an older Disney. Like movie. I say, it, it's an older one, but it's actually still really well done. I love her cape coming down there, the big long sleeves and the purple dress, and the little sash across her uh, waist there. She got a little clip up under the chin. You can't quite see. She's got that awesome crown. And I love the black I love, I love the that apple. comes up around her head. Of course, she's got to be holding the apple. Yeah. That just makes sense. The apple is what's cool on that to me. I like that she's holding the apple. That makes it special because you you might look no, at her with the apple. No, you can tell that's the evil queen. Come no, on, you, you look might. at it. That's I might be confused. No, there's no <laughs> confusion. That's obviously the evil queen. Is okay, Disney? I'll, I'll give you that one. Zach probably I've yeah. seen you say stuff oh you can tell who this one is and it's like dude in shirt come on i'm not gonna let you get away with that one that's the evil queen it's obvious it's mirror mirror on the wall and all that jazz it's obvious i'm gonna have to find her a little mirror to stand with her oh yeah try to change the subject now now i'm gonna show off one of everybody's favorite pops everybody loves pops of this character you can't get enough of them i think they should make more i think they should honestly make more because everyone absolutely absolutely loves pops of this character and it's olaf everybody loves olaf right <laughs> everybody loves olaf pops who doesn't want more olaf pops this is the san diego comic-con 2015 exclusive olaf and i gotta admit it's going right to adriana <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> an adriana it open. i don't care if it's a sdcc 2015 exclusive uh, it's Olaf. It's going to Adrian. <laughs> Definitely. So this is Summer Olaf. This is when he's singing his little song about summer. <laughs> so he is more or less a basic Olaf, but he is holding the cane and he's got the cute little hat on there. And he comes with a little seagull who is also holding a cane and wearing the little hat. So they're doing their little song about summer and, and yeah. tap dancing and the like. Yeah, and uh, you know, we'll give this to Adrian and I'll have to hear him about another billion times about how he likes warm hugs. <laughs> and, you know, I, I like. I thought Frozen was a it was a good movie. I just didn't yeah. like it the four hundredth time exactly. I saw it. <laughs> only Predator holds that honor. But the only thing with this guy is he does not stand up good no, at, at not all. At all. Not at all. You got to get him just right, and even then, he's really really wobbly yeah he, i think one of his legs is a little bit shorter than the other because he's leaning and it just yeah, doesn't work and it just, it's just it's kind of <laughs> forward facing and actually and this little seagull doesn't stand yeah you know, oh, you know what <laughs> sticky tack on the bottom of this guy yep so, hey he went right away that time next we have wasabi no ginger from big hero 6 this was a referral pop from pop in a box we don't have way back when anything else other than baymax himself yeah so. This is just this guy all by himself. Big Hero 6 was actually a really super cute movie. I really liked it. And this is a really cool pop. It's well done. I just don't intend to collect yeah. any of the other ones. This, this one came really. as a referral pop, so it's going to be the yeah, only one. <laughs> pretty much. But he is actually really cool with the hair and everything. is really well done. I like the visor. And he's got those like translucent blades coming down yeah. from both of his arms. The clear blades are pretty yeah. cool. It is a very cool pop. Um, his hair's cool. His hair is very cool. <laughs> it's another one that's going to go to Adriana though, because I have no intention of collecting the rest yeah. of them. Yeah, and he's everywhere. Like yeah, you can he's get everywhere. him. You can get him anywhere. So there's, if there's you're no looking worries. for him, you're gonna find him. You're gonna find him yeah. in seconds. Check check your WalMarts. They probably have like thirty of them. Next we have Eve from Wally. -E. She is super adorable. There's not a huge amount to say about her because she's so basic. She's got a basic shape and she's almost entirely white. But she's got those cute little blue yeah. eyes and she's got the little. Um, blinking light yeah. that lets her know that plants are around so she is very very cute she's, she's accurate she's she's accurate so you that's can't what she looks say like. that that's yeah. exactly what she looks like in i'm not movie. saying she's not well done <laughs> <laughs> it is basic it. that's what she looks but like you can't fuck that's exactly what she looks like but yeah. there's just not that much more wally was a cute <laughs> wally was a cute movie wally's a very cute movie wally's she's gonna look cute adorable cute. with the wally pop and let's uh let's do this oversized one too this is elliot from Pete's Dragon, the big, huge dragon. Gotta um, love me some dragons. Yeah, this is really cool. <laughs> um, I can't say I would really intend to collect this one, you know, in any way, but you just love dragons, so <laughs> you kind of just picked it up based on the fact that he's a dragon. All of the dragons, please, <laughs> thanks. So he's obviously not as, like, serious or hardcore or any like any of the other dragons you have uh, kicking around the house or anything like that, but he is kind of cute and funny, and he's heavy. He's, he's a very, very he's heavy He's very body. heavy. Boom. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he's <like> very he... <laughs> heavy. <laughs> he's so cool, though. I love his great big chin. 
And he's just so jolly looking, and he's got yep. all the, like, the pink scales, and the pink fluffy hair, and the little pink wings. Yep. He is a happy, jolly looking dragon. Yeah. He's he got is. like, his, his fingers are kind of... Doing the thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing the like, thing. He, is, he is definitely solid. Like, that is solid plastic. That's not hollow plastic like, no. your, like your normal Funko Pop. That is... That's a solid piece of plastic, because he is heavy. We have, of course, a very classic Disney character, Minnie Mouse. She's adorable with her little pink polka-dotted dress and the big bow and the big pink shoes, the big white gloves. She's got her hands splayed out and a little tail coming around the back there. Very super cute. I also have the Mickey one. Big, big ears, of course. Yeah. She's got to have the big ears. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, very, very cute. But I said the same thing about the Mickey one. Yeah. There's just something about uh, them not off. quite right. Yeah. They, they, I don't they know. just seem a little bit odd to me for some reason. Uh, it, it, I mean, I get it. You can easily tell it's Mickey and Minnie and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know. Something about them just seems a little bit off. And, and I can't. Never been able to figure out this. exactly what it is. But. I mean, it's still all right, though. It's still an all right pop. And it's, it's still very cute. Obviously, it's hard to get more of a uh, relevant character in the Disney line than, you know, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and all those characters, <laughs> exactly. right? So it's just, I don't know. Eh. <laughs> she says, eh. Like she says, eh. Well, we're coming towards the uh, end of the Disney ones now. We're actually coming close to the end of the hundred, I think. We're getting up there now. So here's a couple Hot Topic exclusives that are both flocked. Ooh, yeah, we got love me some flocked. Bambi <laughs> and the Cheshire Cat. Bambi is so super cute. Look at him. I love him so much. He's got those great big ears and the little puffy tail. He's kind of in a sitting position. I think this is supposed to be like from his, when he's first born because he's got those little spots on his back that little baby deer have on them. He is so super cute and fuzzy and flocked. Very fuzzy. Very much love this one. This is so cute. This guy's very, very fuzzy too. This guy's fuzzy all over, except the eyes and the teeth, obviously. But he is the Cheshire Cat from the newer Alice in Wonderland movies. Um, pretty cool design and stuff like that. And uh, I love Tim Burton. I love Tim yeah. Burton stuff, more of his older stuff, stuff like that. I'm going to honestly say, though, I don't care much at all for the Alice in Wonderland movies. I, was, I wasn't a big no. fan of the movie, but I just love I that the, design of Cheshire Cat. I thought the cat was uh, kind of cool. Um, to be perfectly honest, these kind of happened uh, during we were placing a Hot Topic order to get something, and as many Canadians know, uh, <laughs> if you're getting something shipped from the Hot Topic website, you got to make the shipment worth it. You got to yep. place a big order because <laughs> Hot Topic shipping to Canada is absolutely Unreal. outrageous. In fact, I hate them for it, and I'm so glad we cut back on Pops because I feel no need to buy stuff on their website anymore because their their shipping is an absolute ripoff. But that's basically what happened, really, is we yeah. needed to... That's we, why we ended yeah. up with these. There were, like, three things on the site we really, really wanted, and we needed to make the order worth it <laughs> because just putting one pop in your cart from Hot Topic, $31 US uh, shipping exactly. to Canada. And then the conversion, you know, you're looking at 40 some bucks just for the first pop to ship to you. So, filled the cart, made it worth it. That's basically why we have those. End of story. There's a long story not describing these pops at all. <laughs> I like his grin. <laughs> and they're fuzzy. All right, we're down to the last three Disney pops. So, here's two from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which is actually a really cool movie. Of course. So, and, Excellent of course, movie. the yeah. sexy Jessica Rabbit. And, of course... Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I prefer Jessica. Roger Rabbit is pretty cool. He's got a great big grin on his face, the one ear flopping over there. He's got the red coveralls and the yellow gloves. Little tail sticking out there from the blue patch. Very, very cute. He's another one, though, that he's he's cute and he's well done, but there's just something a little bit... You know what he looks him. like? He looks like an Easter bunny. He does. He looks he like an Easter like bunny. Easter. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he looks like a bunny in the show. Obviously, it's Who Framed Roger Rabbit, but the pop kind of looks like an Easter bunny it toy. It does a little bit. <laughs> I mean, they yeah. did a good job. They got his clothes yeah. and his, his facial expression and everything. But It's yeah, very Easter-y. It does look very Easter-y. <laughs> and this one, of course... And it's got glitter all over it. It's kind of just a splattered glitter. But the ever-sexy Jessica Rabbit, you know, star of many, many, many wonderful cosplays. So, <laughs> didn't work out so well for the BAM box. <laughs> but but that's that a whole different story. Uh, it was a wonderful cosplay, though. It was. I, I'm not going to lie. It was, very nice. it was a great cosplay. I liked it a lot. Um, I just, I don't think it was worth the big item in that box. But anyway, we're trailing off now. Moving on. Um, Jessica Rabbit, you know... A source of a lot of uh, little tiny kids' first crushes because, oh, <laughs> wah, wah, boom. 
she has that sparkly dress. Like I said, the glitter is kind of um, just kind of slap applied. But, you know, surprisingly enough, none of it got on, like, the skin or anything around it. So at least that's cool. It stayed on there. Um, she got the purple gloves and, of course, the microphone stand from her singing. Uh, the half-opened eyes with the so eyeshadow. True. Very, very cool. The lips, the, the you know, big earring. Hair. But the big orange hair, for sure. Sexy. Love me some ginger cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> She comes with a stand, but this annoys the hell out of me because the hole on the bottom of her where the stand is supposed to connect is filled in <laughs> with more plastic. So I can't put her on the stand because she can't stay because the thing won't go in. It's filled. What the heck? You filled the hole. Oh my God. I just said <laughs> <laughs> talking about <sighs> that's just a setup for, for the boys to torment me okay. there. Filling Jessica Rabbit's blank. <laughs> this is this has turned into an X-rated Funko Pop haul. Moving on. <laughs> and the last Disney Pop for today, it is a Chase Winnie the Pooh half a lump. Love it, absolutely love it. Oh my God, he's not in a pop projector. Ah! <laughs> so this is the little half a lump, the little elephant-esque creature. And he is basically in purple in the uh, regular version of him. In the chase version, he's got like the big pink head and the big pink fluffy tail and everything. It's kind of like reverse colors. Yeah, basically they kind of just change it backwards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's got the little black strands of hair there. One of my favorite scenes from the old Winnie the Pooh cartoon movie is when he dreams about the Heffalumps. The Heffalump movie. I love that. Not the Heffalump movie. The Heffalump movie. It's very oh, yeah. confusing. Okay, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is super cute. I kind of want to get the Woozle one, too, because they kind of go together. The Heffalump and Woozle song. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm very happy that we managed to come across a chase of this guy, because he's super cute with the big pink head. And Adriana's room was all done in uh, Winnie the Pooh stuff uh, when she was a small little baby, so she might actually appreciate this on display somewhere, too. So She actually used to have him as a plush toy. Yeah, so very cute. <laughs> Sticking with cartoons a little bit longer, we have Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. Yep. All by herself. She's the only one we have. Yep. Over DreamWorks, series. obviously, not Disney. We've moved on to a new studio. Kung Fu Panda was a pretty cute movie. I really enjoyed it. This is probably yeah. my favorite of the pops of the series. Yeah. I don't really have any intention of collecting the rest of them, but I thought this one was pretty cool. I like her stance, getting ready to fight, and she's well painted in all her tiger colors. She's got the little fluff on the side of her face and all everything. All the stripes all over, yeah. Very cute, Classic. like, kind of ancient style liked, of uniform. Yeah. I liked Kung Fu Panda, too. I'd rather a Poe, though. I, yeah. I'd say, uh, you say that's your favorite, but I think, it, you know, it's Kung Fu Panda. It's not called Kung Fu Tigress. You do kind of need a pose. It's kind of yeah. Kung, Kung Fu Panda. One. But I did really like the style of this yeah. one. Very nice pose and everything. It was a great show back to martial arts uh, style movies too, but got like little kids involved. I, I love martial arts. I love cheesy martial arts, uh, like 70s yeah. drive-in <laughs> movies and stuff like that. I tortured her with so many of the Master of the Flying Guillotine and stuff like that, so... Hey, man, I love them, you know? I, I deal with your princess stuff. You can deal with my kung fu. They're fun. We've got a few Star Trek Beyond Pops. We've got Captain Kirk, Scotty, Sulu, and Bones. So these four are from the most recent movie, the Star Trek Beyond movie, which got robbed at the Oscars, so I've been told I don't watch the Oscars. I honestly don't care for that <laughs> pretentiousness and stuff like that, but I heard it got robbed for makeup by Suicide Squad, no yeah. less. Uh, but... These are for the characters from the newer movie, and this is another case of why the heck did I buy these pops? Um, this is another mistaking regret. I love Star Trek. Absolutely I'm, love Star Trek. I am a Star Trek fan. I love like I love it, especially classic series and and Next Generation. I, I love me some Star Trek. And we loved the movies. But these pops are really really boring. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, there's only so much you can do with them in their suits and stuff like that. But the thing is, they're all carbon copies of other pops in the line. The only ones that really stand out are the aliens. Yeah. Right? Um, like, Bones has the exact same body as Spock. Like, they didn't put Spock putting the, the Vulcan salute up or nothing like that. Nope. You know, Just same exact dudes body. In blue. You know, Scotty exact same body as bones and spock he's just red right it's the exact same so really 
all you're getting for a difference in these guys is the hairstyle. You're getting their suit colors, and you're getting the hairstyle. And, I mean, the hairstyle is not really enough of a difference to no. really care about the different pops, right? And, I mean, look at Kirk and Sulu. <laughs> they even, not only, like, they couldn't even give Sulu the hands down. You know what I mean? And paint it yellow, so it'll be another variant. They actually have the exact same body mold. With the like, phaser. With the phaser. Literally the exact same body mold. So this is another thing where it's like, hey, they threw out 10 pops in the line just because they knew people would buy it because a new yep. movie was coming out. And there was literally no effort put into these pops no. whatsoever. It's a very, shame. Very lazily done. Because Star Trek is such an awesome property. And it, it's a property that's endured for years and years and years since the 60s. And, and it deserves a little more respect than that, I okay. find. This was just, there's a movie coming out. We got to get something made quick. So as much as I love Star Trek and I'm a big Spock fan, I'm highly disappointed in this line of pops. I'm gonna be honest, it's it's not a good line of pops. It's a garbage line of pops. Now this I can get into though. This is actually the only um, pop we were missing from the classic Star Trek line. Yep. Uh, who criminally didn't make Bones. I know, I know, still right? so mad Bones, about Bones, such a classic character, they didn't make Bones. A lot of things. They should have made a series two of the Star... Instead of making the new movie ones, they should have made a series two and added some of the other characters. Agreed. Instead of yep. the new movie pops. That would have been better, but they had to cash in on the new movie. I get it. It's a business thing. But this is the Andorian. And these are just some funky looking uh, <laughs> aliens from the 60s. So let's take him out and have a look. Look at that. You can't get much more cheesy 60s <laughs> sci-fi than that costume. Look, it's got like... A really, really, really lame, uh, like kind of like just plain green sash with like random buttons all over it, over the big silver uh, shirt suit, and uh, the big, huge black sci-fi <laughs> boots. Like That's that, awesome. that outfit screams uh, 60s sci-fi. It's just this is what we can do on our budget. This is how <laughs> exactly. we picture space right now. Like this is the future, <laughs> right? And he's got that blue skin. That pure, pure uh, blue skin, the white eyebrows, and the uh, very, almost looks like the old style, like, ludists. <laughs> you know, the loot, loot players from uh, back in the uh, you know, medieval old days, times. medieval days. And stuff. He's got those strange little suckery I antenna little on him. Antenna. These are great. And, uh, yeah, this, this is a real shout back to the old series. Uh, I was late getting in the old series. I was always one of those people... Uh, I've never been a person to judge things beforehand before trying them, but Star Trek was one of those things that I just judged like, ah, people who are too nerdy watch that, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then I went and I watched it, and it was that absolutely was fantastic. So, moral of the story, guys, don't judge a book by its cover. Go try it. And, uh, yeah, I fell in love with it, and this guy completes the, um, the old Star Trek line for us, so... Very, very happy to have him. Whew, we must be coming close to the end now. We're getting there. <laughs> we're getting we're getting there. <laughs> we gotta be close to 100 now, eh? We're very, just... very, very close. Alright, okay, let's keep the momentum going. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's keep We've it going. We've got two Willy Wonka pops. We have oh, Willy boy. Wonka and the Oompa Loompa. Oh, boy. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo. I got another Funko Pop for you. Isn't that lame? Wasn't that lame? That was terrible. I should cut that. I should leave it in there and just be ashamed of myself and let people be ashamed of me. All right, let's do it then. <laughs> Classic Willy Wonka is awesome. This is so cool. I love his big top hat and the bright purple suit. He's got his walking cane, of course, and that really kind of funky looking shirt underneath there, bow tie. This is like perfect. This is He's perfect a well done pop. Yes. He's a very well, and it's respectful of uh, Gene Wilder's appearance in the movie. They got very, very the cool. clothing and the hair and everything is perfect. It's just, yeah, this is the Gene Wilder pop. Yeah, it's, it's a Gene Wilder pop. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. definitely. Love, love me some Gene Wilder. Love his comedies. Very great. Love the bright purple. Love the little designs. Love the big hat. Love Gene Wilder. And of course, we also have the Oompa Loompa, the classic style Oompa Loompas with the bright, bright orange skin and the like neon green yeah. hair. Yeah, <laughs> all with the that ridiculous massively haircut. overdone Technicolor makeup. <laughs> I, I love it's how all... ridiculous they look. Yeah. He's got his little overalls there, and they look like they have, they have like 
truffles or something? Yeah, it's like, you got the truffle <laughs> shoes. You got the truffle <laughs> shoes going. You got, like, cho- little chocolate outfits. Little like, swirl like, shoes. <laughs> milk and white chocolate outfits. Yeah. <laughs> he's super cute, and he's got the, the two hands up, like, they're singing the song. Yeah. That classic song that everybody knows. Yeah, very, very <laughs> colorful pops. Uh, very, very awesome. Yeah, great additions. These are these are well done. Pops. You know, again, you know me talking about buying pops that are really small in comparison, but they are really, really well done to the movie. Yeah. So I and give Funko, together. Give Funko props for that one. But let's do some Cartoon Network stuff next. So let, let's do some Adventure Time. Ooh, Adventure Time! We've got the Lich King, the Flame Princess, and. Yeah. A ride! A ride! Jake Carr! Jake Carr! <laughs> flame Princess is super cute in all kinds of shades of orange so that she looks like she's on fire. Very flamey. Very flamey. Her hair actually is fire. And she's got a cute little, like, a gem in her forehead there. A little, cute little smile on her face. She's got kind of a classic, uh, delicate princess dress with the two little arms out. She's yeah, very she's very not cute. delicate in the show. She's though. not delicate at all. Well, she's she, seen the show. Well, she doesn't <laughs> understand love. Actually, I haven't watched Adventure Time in quite a while. There's probably been yeah, like, a few seasons. Yeah, we've got quite a seasons. bit to catch up to. We did used to watch it, though, because it's nice and bright and colorful and fun. And the Lich is really cool. The actually. Lich is a really, really cool pop. He has tons of just grossness in his face. Like, he's yeah. all sunken. The eyes are actually sunken. Yeah, well, he's, it, he's, he's like the, he's the like pop death, pop faces. You know what I mean? He's got, like... Just his face is literally falling apart. Like, yeah. look at his mouth. His skin is falling off rotty. of his mouth. Yeah. He's all got the rotted teeth. He's got bones around his uh, neck holding the cape on. The skeletal hands coming out there. He's got the horns, but one of them is broken and that kind of jagged crown. He is just yeah. frightening looking. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and Adventure Time is like a bright and colorful and, and fun show. And then, but there's like, if you read between the lines of some of the things in the show, like it's actually got some dark undertones it every really now and then to the, it too. The backstory. The is backstory is like, dark. If, you know, this. I don't know. There, we haven't watched it in so long, but it was like there's like some kind of like human extinction apocalypse yeah, like or something like that going. Like I don't that. know, but uh, it's crazy. yeah, there is some underlying <laughs> tones in the show of bright and colorful. And speaking of bright and colorful, it's a Jake mobile. <laughs> it's Jake car. Now, if this confuses you a little bit, because I'm going to say this car is a dog. Okay, and this car is a dog. It's not a car. It's a dog. Now, if that confuses you a little bit, um, go watch the show. <laughs> yeah, the show. In the show, uh, Jake is Finn's magical dog. Um, this show is getting crazier the more you try to describe it. It's hard to describe it without sounding like a raving lunatic. It's um, such a strange show. But Jake is Finn, the last human's magical dog who can shape shift and grow and shrink into anything, right? He, he can change his shape, his size, his form. And uh, this is him as a car, driving <laughs> Finn around. And Finn fits inside him. Finn is the main character of the show, you know, next to Jake. Uh, I'd say he's probably the main focus. Yes. But they're both main characters. And uh, he's a little bit different than the standard Finn. Yeah, he's because, holding a donut. Yeah, he's holding a donut. <laughs> um, that, so the regular Finn, you get, he's just holding his hand out, and then there's an exclusive where he's holding a sword yep. from, from a con or something like that, I think. So he's a little bit different. He's holding a donut. So he just slides right into the Jake mobile. He goes off to solve, you know adventures or mysteries or something didn't didn't jake turn into a car in like one where they were pretending to be pis or something like that that sounds familiar oh, it's, been, it's, <laughs> it's been, been a while it's been so long since i watched the show but yeah very fun very colorful uh cute line cute show but dark undertones so sticking with cartoon network we've got uh five steven universe pops here and these are mostly for Adriana, because I don't know much about the show, and you don't know much about the show. <laughs> uh, and they were mostly um, Hot Topic order fillers, and I think a couple came in, like, uh, a pop in a box one time or something Maybe. like that, like a referral. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, most of them are Hot Topic uh, order fillers. Basically, Adriana's going to like them once we've got them yeah. <laughs> So we've got Pearl, Garnet. Amethyst and two versions of Stephen. So here they are in all their glory. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna be able to say about them no. because again, we. I, I've only seen a couple episodes and it was quite a while ago. I, I watched them uh, with Adriana. I think these three are like guardians or something like that, and okay. um, and Stephen's like with them, like training to be a guardian or trying to be a guardian or something like that, and they can like 
transform and do um, certain weapon skills. Sounds interesting. Uh, something like that. I, I've heard great things about the show. Actually, if you guys are big Steven Universe uh, fans, or if you know anything about Steven Universe, or even if you don't like Steven Universe, uh, let us know your thoughts on it in the comment section below, and let us know what it's all about, and uh, let us know if you really, really like it or not, because um, I have heard good things, yeah. so it would be worth checking out for sure. Pearl is kind of a faded-looking character. I'm not sure if that has something to do with her character or what. No, I think it's just one of those colorful shows like Adventure Time, where things are just randomly colored. Maybe. You know what I mean? I don't know. She just she looks very pale, yeah. and she's thin, and she's got like these big long feet and everything. She's got a sash, <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a star on her shirt there. She's got like a long pointed nose, and I'm assuming yeah. a pearl. The very, very there. crazy designs, for sure. Very interesting looking bottle. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Garnet here, because uh, Garnet, this one looks really cool. Yeah, um, she looks she, like a warrior or she, something. She does. Uh, <laughs> she's got her visor there. You can kind of see her eyes under her visor. It looks like she has three eyes. So maybe that has something to do with the show, too. I don't know if she ever reveals them or what, but it looks like she has three eyes under her visor. And I like the big Russian-style hat. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And her color scheme. I like her red and purple... Uh, style color scheme too very 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 cool she's got um, like gems in her hands too like i said and she got the that mouth that goes love but, those uh, funny nose <laughs> yeah um very cool like, it's got me curious about the character for sure i like amethyst because she's all purple <laughs> and she's yeah. got like her jewel is on her chest kind of poking out of her shirt there and she's got stars on her knees she's got that funny face yeah. going on lots as well. <laughs> of hair hair in front of one of her eyes I, again, I don't know much about the character, but I, I'm attracted to this one because of all the you know, well, we're gonna have to, We're going to have to check this show out for sure. She like looks like she's fighting. Too. I think i only seen like a couple episodes of it like a year ago or something like that. But a Adriana knows a little bit about it, so I don't even know if it's a show she should be watching. I know nothing about it. so I don't. She doesn't watch I it regularly. Know. But and here's Steven, the title character of the show. And um, this one is a hot topic. Too. So this is the basic Steven. As you can see, he's just Steven with his, you know... Shirt, normal, big grin, um, big blocky Cartoon Network design on him. And this one is the Hot Topic exclusive where uh, his shirt is up and you can see his belly gem. There's something to do with that, the gems in the show too that I can't remember. It's been so long. I should have like looked this up before we did this video because I just sound like I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> because I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, but the, the Hot Topic exclusive is that his um, belly and his arms, I believe, glow in the dark. So it's like he's uh, nice. doing his transform thing or whatever from his uh, belly gem. So Adrian, I like that. Show. Every I time I like try that. to describe one of these Cartoon Network shows, I sound like a raving lunatic, whether I know what I'm talking about or not. So many of them are so weird. I actually sound more sane, not knowing about it, <laughs> I think. So they're so bizarre, these shows, but that's part of their charm. They're colorful, they're weird. And, and they're just fun and they have no limits, right? So, it's fun stuff. And we got one more Cartoon Network pop, and it is Space Ghost. Which is kind of actually a Hanna-Barbera pop. But, uh, it, Technically you know, to yeah. us, to <laughs> us it's Cartoon Network. Because to us, it's not the old Space Ghost show. It's Space Ghost Coast, Coast to Coast. Because we loved that show. He is so classic. <laughs> I, love, uh, I love the black hood and the white uniform with a little bit of red. The yellow cape, and he's got like himself. Yeah, his space ghost is in <laughs> there. The front yeah. there. He's getting ready to hold out the the ring or shoot or where he shoots. He does that to Zorak in Coast yeah. to Coast all the time when Zorak gets saucy. This is so but, awesome. We really wanted this because we got the Zorak and uh, Brack. Brack yeah. pops. The he's gonna look great with Zorak and Brack. Yeah. yeah. If he, they were from um, San Diego Comic Con 2016. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. We and, just got those. Yeah. Not that long ago. Now we have the set. I, I wish I could get like um like a keyboard thing for Zorak. Oh my god, that would be, <laughs> <That'd> be so <laughs> hilarious. But uh, yeah, he is going to look great with the Brack and Zorak. I'm so happy because I loved Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Oh was, yeah, we watched that. This already. guy launched Adult Swim. Yep. You can thank this. this. This guy was basically what made Adult Swim big. It was the early days, you know, it's it's got its faults. You know, it's not a perfect program or nothing. But this guy made Adult Swim, so thank him. Next, we've got Bill and Ted. And they are most excellent. So we've got Bill S. Preston Esquire in his bright purple jacket with all the blocks there. I love his curly hair. Very, very nicely done. And he's in his nice, the excellent tour. Yeah. And we, of course, we've <laughs> got uh, 
Ted Theodore Logan, who this guy is is the best. This this guy takes that, the cake. Yeah. He's got the um, sure. loose shirt wrapped around him. He's got the black vest. He's got the smiley face on his uh, shorts there. Uh, you know, the high top sneakers. And he's doing the wild <laughs> stallions. <laughs> I actually, um, I wish if they were going to do the be excellent to each other or the wild stallions, they both the, did yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, because it would have looked a little yeah. bit nicer if they were both doing the same. But this thing. is this is Keanu. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. The bill is not that stellar. No, it's not. That, um, especially yeah. compared to Ted. The the bill is pretty weak. Um, I think they could have done better with the bill. I mean, I know it's kind of how he looks like in the movie or something like that. Or even if they made it based on Bogus Journey, where his character had more um, details they could work with. Because he had, like, the hat and everything yeah. like that. Uh, but I guess they wanted to go excellent adventure. But, yeah, Ted, by far, uh, blows away the bill of these two pops. But, I mean, they're still cool together. You can have Bill and Ted. So, you can't have Bill without Ted. No, you can't have Ted without Bill. Not. So, now they need a Rufus and the phone booth. Almost done. We've got Braveheart, William Wallace. Yeah. This is a really cool pop. And we got to take him out of the box. You know why? Because he needs freedom! You knew that was coming right away, eh? As soon as I said I'd take him out of the box, you knew that was coming. That joke was just, it had to be made. Everybody knew it was coming. It didn't have to say it because everyone was thinking it, but it had to be made. It was a joke that had to be made. This is a cool pop right here, you guys. This is so well done, particularly, of course, because of the face paint. Yeah, the blue the face paint. face paint is what makes it. It's iconic. It's the iconic scene. But he's got those braids on either side of his face. His hair is really well done. You've got all the little bits of armor, the leather around him everywhere, his sashes, his uh, sword in the one hand. This is just, I mean, it's Braveheart. That is it's Braveheart. the definition of Braveheart. It's right William there. Wallace. You, you can't mistake it. It's a really well done pop. Uh, I mean, they, they nailed it. They nailed this pop. That is William Wallace. You can't beat it. Freedom! I'm waiting for him to flip up his skirt and show me his willies now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a famous scene, too. Oh, I refuse. <laughs> Can Pop do that? Pop do bums. That's true. We pointed we, out we, 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 we actually have a decent Pop bum collection. But yeah, the braids in his hair are really cool. The little mark on his face. So props to Funko, the armor, everything, the kilt. Very well done. All right, we only got two left. So let's look at this vaulted Pop. Uh, we got a little bit ago, and it is V from V from Vendetta, and this is a very early pop. Very early, yeah. Like this, this is uh, super early. It's number ten in the movies line. <laughs> yeah, like this, this is a pop from quite a while ago, and even though it's an older pop, it's very well done. Like it's extremely well done, even though most of the pops that came out around that time were just this chunk. You know what I mean? That that's it. That's all yep. there was to them. This is actually really cool. So let's take a look at them. With this pop. It is all about the face. Yeah. It obviously. is all about the mask. That is just perfect. This was an excellent movie, and there's no way that if you saw that movie, you could look at that well, mask and not know yeah. exactly what it was. The Guy is. Fox mask, right? Yeah. It's just, it's, it's <laughs> iconic, right? He, of course, he has the big hat and the long hair and the cape and everything. He's holding the two blades. It's just, it's very nicely done. It is one of the older ones. There's not an enormous amount of detail, but there doesn't have to be because of the mask. The mask, the mask <laughs> makes it, right? That is yeah. absolutely as perfect as it could possibly be for V from Venice. Yeah, and it, like I said, it, it's something about the classic pop style too that, that can be a charm. So a lot of people aren't for the new style of pops where they overpose them and over like some of the people actually like the um the basic pose so it depends on the character he and, would be because you know, he does have that basic pose yeah it's, he's it's just, just holding he's the knives the blades, so he it's... got the shiny buckle so i mean it's all in what you prefer right some people like just the same pose over and over just repainted and some people like you know more, more detail dynamic, dynamic and effort put into your pops right um, either way, it's still a 3.75 inch piece of plastic that's <laughs> not a whole lot of effort put in, so you can't complain too much whether you like them like this or you like them like this. <laughs> but but this personally, is, yeah. for that character, I think yeah. that that's this is a This is a very cool pop, and, and heavy for an early pop, too. So Very cool. And the last one is from one of my favorite comedies of all time. I have watched this movie about a million times, and At I least. never get tired of it. <laughs> it is the Entertainment Earth exclusive. Black Knight with the flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, so of course, this guy's more of a novelty pop. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, you know, he's missing his limbs. 
right? <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can do with the limbs, right? Basically, you yeah, just you, you can only you just, just lay, lay them, them down, down in front of him and just have him talk about how it's just a flesh wound. The only thing that would have been uh, odder is if they cut his legs off too, and he just had the um, the stump torso. Uh, that would have been awesome guy. too, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, how would you even display it? I'd be like, <laughs> but uh, yeah. And he's got the blood squirting out the two stumps too on his shoulders. It's <laughs> yeah. just. It's perfect. Bit. That is such a classic scene it that the, never fails to make The cheesy laugh. blood spurt, too, from, like, the old comedies. And eh? the hoses. You can <laughs> yeah, you can see, see the hoses. with a pump the, squirt. <laughs> yeah. Of course, he's peeking out through the mask, uh, all the shaded uh, silveryness on the mask for the Black Knight. He's got his little, uh, like, a Warthog-style logo yep. on his em- <laughs> emblem on his uh, little robe bit there. Of, uh, chain mail around his neck yeah. there. Very, very like, like I said, th- this is what this is a novelty. Yeah. Um, it's all like about this. the blood and the arms yeah. laying there. This, this <laughs> is this is just for people who really get the movie. You know what I mean? It's not uh, like all these parts they don't really have. You just lay them. You just lay them down with them, right? But uh, it's very, very cool. I get a kick out of this. I thought it was an awesome so, idea for an exclusive. And, and I love monty python related stuff so definitely big fan of this pop uh entertainment earth exclusive i don't know if you can still get it or not maybe check their site um if you can i'll check their site and if you can i'll leave a link in the description below uh, if you're but, a monty python fan that's yeah an this, this is a good have. one to have this is a good one to have the holy grail line is great this and tim the enchanter are my favorite ones so there you go guys 100 <laughs> funko pops Unboxed what? in one video. One huge unboxing took for I survived. I honestly thought I was just gonna start pulling my hair out by Me the end too. of it, but I survived. So if you it. guys survived to the end of the video, yeah. thank you so much. You yeah. are our favorite people. If you did survive <laughs> to the end of this video, what was your favorite pop of the ones we showed? Uh, Go back and look again and make sure you picked the right one. Let us know in the comment section below which ones you liked, which ones you didn't, which ones were your favorite lines. Yeah. Did you agree or disagree with some of the many things that we said about all of these 100 Funko Bops? Yeah. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you guys, so <laughs> give it to us in the comment section below. <laughs> give it to us? Give it to us. It's like she's asking for your hate. Give it to us. Come on now. You know come there's going to be that a few was, people saying, no, that no, no, was, no, no, no. Oh, come on. That was poor wording. You know it. You know that was poor wording. We love you guys. Don't yell at us. I am angry and I'm on the internet, so everybody has to know it because things aren't exactly how I want everything to be, and I'm going to yell at people in a toy video because that's going to make me sound like a real mature person. If you have enjoyed this immensely long video, <laughs> please give us a big thumbs up. Share with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from DB on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye!